So you're trying to take a 3D drawing in Revit and you want to export it as 2D line work. I'll show you how to do that. So why would you want to take 3D geometry and export it as a 2D line work drawing? Perhaps you want to use Illustrator or Photoshop or some other graphic design software to kind of overlay graphics. This is something that I use pretty often. Uh, it's you know a pretty streamlined way to go from a 3D drawing to 2D line work. There are some things that you'll need to clean up, but this certainly gives you a good basis to start with. The two programs I'll be using today is AutoCAD and Revit. Uh, if you don't have them, uh, assuming you probably have Revit if you landed on this video, uh, if you don't have AutoCAD, definitely be sure to download that because you're gonna need it for this process. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Revit and I'm just gonna select a file that I've worked on in the past. And so let's say by default, you know, I have all these kind of interior perspectival views. So go ahead and navigate to the view that you wanna export. So for this instance, I wanna do this interior space here. And so the first thing you wanna do is you need to create a sheet. And so we're gonna say select new sheet. For this case, we can just hit none, hit okay. And so now rename this view and say uh, 3D to 2D export. That's fine. And so we'll scroll back up here and we'll select this interior four space, drag and drop, and then click to place can double click your center mouse wheel to zoom. And so basically we have this 3D drawing on this 2D sheet. And so this is extremely important to do because if you don't do this, when you go to export, it's gonna export the 3D model from Revit into AutoCAD and all the geometry is gonna remain as 3D solids essentially. So make sure you get that 3D view onto the sheet. That's the most important thing in this entire process. Okay, so once we have that, we can go up to file, export, CAD formats, DWG, and then we'll say current view slash sheet only, assuming we have that sheet we just made selected. Hit next, and go ahead and navigate to wherever you wanna store this. So for me, I made a folder, Revit 2D line work, hit okay. So it might take a while to export, depending on the complexity of your 3D model. If it takes a really, really long time to export, that's a good indicator that you're gonna have a ton of line work. And that's up to you if you if you need that, but you know it always helps to try to simplify your geometry in whatever way possible. More lines equals bigger files equals you know potentially messier drawings. Once it exports, you can go ahead and navigate to that folder. Once you're in this folder, you'll notice that Revit exported two DWG drawings. So at this point, you might be thinking that you can just go into Illustrator and hit place, and then you can select one of these DWGs. But when you go to place, you'll notice this error. So this is why we're using AutoCAD for this process. So anyway, select this bottom drawing here and it will open up an AutoCAD. And so once we have this open, you'll notice that we're in model space and we can literally go through and select these lines. You can check and see that they're lines. You can rotate your view and you see that it's a 2D drawing. So by default, Revit exports surface materials as hatches in AutoCAD. And you can see if you select this yellow here and go into properties, you can see that it's a hatch. Now, of course, you can leave the hatches if you want, um, but I like to get rid of them so that I just have a pure line drawing. And I'll show you a quick way how to delete all the hatches. Go ahead and type in PRO for properties. Go up to this little quick select with the lightning bolt symbol up here. And what this is gonna do is bring up the quick select menu. We wanna do object type, hatch, and then we want for the operator, we want to select select all, hit OK. And what that's going to do is if you go over to properties, you can see it's selected 127 hatches. A lot of this hatch work I didn't even know was in the drawing because that's what Revit exported it as. So if you don't want to go through and click 127 hatches to get rid of them, this is a much faster way to do that. Go ahead and delete. And so now you have this 2D line work drawing. You can go through and clean up your drawing how you want. You'll notice that there's a lot of kind of like weird leftover lines. This is just kind of a result of exporting from a 3D drawing to a 2D drawing. It has to do with the way that you've modeled certain things and so forth. So at this point, this might be all you need. This might be all you're looking for, but if you want to stick around, I'll show you how to import that into Illustrator. So we'll go ahead and open up Illustrator. And we're gonna create a new drawing. Uh, we can go with letter size, horizontal orientation. 
you can literally go into AutoCAD and select all of your lines, hit Control C, copy. So once you're in Illustrator, go ahead and hit Control V and that's gonna paste this line work into Illustrator. Now you can change the scale and whatever you need. By default, all the lines are grouped together when you copy from AutoCAD and paste into Illustrator. So just right click and say ungroup. And now you can edit all of these lines individually. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, you know, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Be sure to drop some comments. If you have any questions or you run into any issues along the way, let me know and I'll be happy to try to help you work through them. So thanks for sticking around guys and I'll see you in the next one.